In this video, we will look at analyzing a metal forming process using FEMAP and the NX NASTRAND Advanced Nonlinear Solver. Let's start by looking at the FEMAP model. We have the model meshed with shell elements and solid elements. The solid elements are on the material blank itself. We have four regions that we use to manage our contact. We have the lower tool surface, the upper tool surfaces. Both of these are rigidly defined. There's the inside face of the material and the outside face of the material blank. These contact areas are connected with contact connectors. So we have the lower tool surface and the upper tool surface which basically says I have pairs of contact regions. The materials that make up this model are a high strength alloy steel for the tool bodies and a nonlinear aluminum 775. We'll look at the function that defines this aluminum stress strain curve. After the model is meshed, we also are going to apply a displacement load to the rigid upper tool. In this case, we'll displace it 4 millimeters in the vertical Z direction. For our analysis, we'll go look at the setup of that analysis. And as you can see, we have the parameters for doing the advanced nonlinear solution. In this case, we'll break it down into 200 time steps at five thousandths of a second each for a total of one second. Once the analysis is completed, we can look at the, the stress and displacement on this model. In this case, we're looking at the solid plastic strain at the final formed shape. If we would like, we can simply go to a group which defines a cross-sectional view to look right at the midsection of the material blank and the tools. Let's take a look at four different result sets. The first is the animation from the start of the process to the completion of the process of the top of the material blank and the solid von Mises stress. The second animation shows the interior of the material blank again with the solid von Mises stress. We'll now take a look at the plastic strain, in other words, the strain that exceeds the elastic strain limit. The first is the top of the material blank. And the second is the interior of the material blank. Our final animation shows a right side cross-sectional view through the tool and the material blank showing the plastic stream.